Aloha is, is something really deep. Ooh. Something really deep. It's not from the words only. Yeah. Aloha is from Ooh. down in the heart. Whatever we have, come, we share. Yeah. And uh, I have no problem in that word, Aloha. I guess it's in our blood, in our bone. And that, I believe they cannot take it away from us. Yeah. Aloha. My name is Robert Kelly Homalu Senior. Born and raised in Puna. And I have eight uh, sons and three daughters. And I have one name after me, Robert Jr. Back up that way and came all alongside here. Well, you can see the, 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 the smoke that is going into the ocean. That's where it's going in now. The flow came all the way, all the way until over here. And it had stopped right here. And it ain't too far from my house. I'd say about good 75 yards. And this is where my wife was standing. Four years ago, I lost my wife. She went to the mainland to entertain and she took sick there. And uh, she didn't return. And uh, now since I'm retired, I keep myself busy in uh, building my Hawaiian uh, nature walk. Our culture center here and uh, I enjoy doing it. I really enjoy doing it. Being here and, and meeting all these tourists which they have no idea of what had happened to us. If they got caught speaking Hawaiian in school they face their finger up like so and they whip them with sticks but they have no idea. And they were so surprised, and they said, wow, you mean America did this? I said, yes. As I grew older, I think my mind flashed back, yeah, and, and these white people telling me I'm savage. Oh, I get so upset. So I hand them the leaflets and let them read up. Read on. I said, you take it home. And they said, oh, so Shame. We live with that hurt, yeah. And they they don't even have that compassion or uh, thinking that what they have done was very, very wrong. And I said, that's okay. They have their pay when they go on the other side. I do have the time to, of course, serve our local government. But uh, I feel that maybe until such time that everything is in place, then I'll step back and let the young ones go for it. We can breathe at last, yeah. Oh, breathe fresh, yeah. And I, I feel that it is true that uh, what we're doing is uh, going to be benefit for everybody, regardless of race, no color. This Akaka bill or whatever bill they try to pass. What did what do you think we stupid? Our thoughts here is to the future of Hawaii. I came before you today to ask you to hook it a bill up. Key Loy Kalabila. I don't think so. They should look themselves in a the mirror first. We only ask him for truth and justice. Sure, we know that they have done wrong to us so badly. But why put more salt in the sore or in the cut? Now what we have to do is to repair it. Right is right, wrong is wrong. 
and I feel so so happy to see all our brothers and sisters stepping forward to take in this position and I'm so proud of them and I like to say to them mahalo to all of you out there that came and took up this position. God bless you folks. And for me, in my heart, we cry because of happiness. Imoa, don't give up the fight. My name is Kikani Pa, um, Noble District 2, reinstated law from Hawaiian government. My family's original name is Kaheo Va'anui Ponalipa Ino I take my family back to the 600 AD, down in Kolau, it's on the northeast side of Kauai, right outside of Anahola and before Kilauea. And my ancestors are buried all in the valley there. What is it, Stephen? The white bone. It's a human. See him? He came, the kupuna. That's why we're here. The uhani. The spirits of the spirits of our ancestors' spirits. There they are. And then the next thing you know, you got my family's, my ancestors' bones sticking out of the ground. Tooth. A tooth. My family's the last tribe out of Kalalau Valley. In 1945, the federal government came in and pushed them all out by force. <laughs> Just further proof why the show is so far upstream from the ocean. Because when you say you're a native Hawaiian, you're an American citizen, and that's a federal law. And that's why OHA can control us the way they are. They're all puppets. You know it, I know it. This is time for change. You cannot trust America. Or uh, I can see nothing working in benefit of our people if we go to the United States system. Well, I have a lawful Kanaka Maoli show. I mean, politicians, feel free to, to come in and ask for you know questions to find out where we're headed to because I like rapping with you. Right? Well, I've been in the sovereign movement all my life. I was very bitter, very angry. I didn't have to present my issues. The thing is, that's what the government wants you to be. They want you to be angry. They want you to just be mad at everything, mad at all this development, mad at all these people coming here. You have to ho oh, mali mali. You have to calm down yourself uh, and, and, and read the laws. Because if, if you're angry, you don't understand the laws, you know? And if you're angry, you don't know who you actually are. And if we had a deeper and clear understanding of the word Native Hawaiian, we wouldn't be angry. We would have been able to put back our nation. But the ancestors that died and strived and protected these rights is who I honor. My heart goes out to every one of those in memory of the Kanakamole generation, the Wuhan that is up there, the spirits. They're looking down at us. And I can tell you guys right now, in the grave, they're smiling. We've got to come together. But I will faithfully support the Constitution of Hawaii. The Constitution of Hawaii. I'll die and breathe. It's got to survive. Got to leave some land for the Hawaiian people.